You know, this is a venue that cares about the movie, cares about how people see movies. You get audience members here who come up to you with a lot of knowledge of, uh, of the world of movies. They're a special sort of really kind of avid group of moviegoers, and that means a great deal. It also means a great deal when I go into the, the, the sticks and I meet people who aren't used to seeing a political documentary or a social issues documentary, and they say, hey, that movie really moved me. These things all matter, but it also matters to see movies in a festival setting where it isn't just sort of wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, I'm gonna go out to Chili's now and have my, uh, my carbs, but instead it's like, okay, I'm gonna sit here for 20 minutes after the movie and talk about it, and audience members will come up and tell you what moved them or what they want you to do different or this part worked for them or that part didn't, that kind of thing. But I grew up in a household that was uh, very representative of the experience of Eastern European Jews in the 20th century. Uh, my father's family had fled Nazi Germany in 39. My mother's family had fled the czars of Russia in the turn of the 20th century. So the children of my family, we were all taught that our lives kind of would only make sense if we were devoted in our lives to social justice, to giving voice to the voiceless, because we had once been there and we were supposed to tell the stories of those who'd been on the front lines of the terrible things that man can do to man. And film seemed a medium that called out to me. I made a short film at 21 years of age and I was at Sundance suddenly, alongside guys like Tarantino and people who were on their way and I thought, wow, this is easy. It turned out it wasn't. I then got embarrassed and humiliated for a decade, which is a whole other story. But I had gotten the bug, and that bug led me to ultimately see that my small p politics could be combined with that aspect of myself that was a little bit artistic. And I often joke that these movies kept me from a life of crime, because I'm outraged. I'm heartbroken by most of what I see. I flew in here today. I see the strip mallization of this country, the the eradication of town squares, the eradication of normal mom and pop places to get a bite, that absolutely eats me up. I believe it's changeable. I believe you can roll back a lot of the transgressions that have been committed against the values we hold dear. But I didn't know how else to communicate it. So the most exciting part of what I get to do is to shatter stereotype wherever I go. Because you get to go meet people, you have to take on their points of view, you get your points of view changed by them. It's a great line from John Maynard Keynes, who was once accused, you know, we talk about flip-flopping today and how evil flip-flopping is. John Maynard Keynes didn't think that. He was once talking to someone who had accused him of changing his views. And he says, well, when I get new information, I change my views. What, sir, do you do with new information? 